What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new Town Hall 9 attack guide. Uh, this is actually going to... Ooh, a gem box. This is actually going to be episode 3. At the end of the video, I will have the first uh, two installments of this series at the very, very end of the video. Uh, and to those of you uh, first uh, coming across the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you like the video. Okay. As you guys saw it in the thumbnail, we're going to be breaking down some crazy looking Town Hall 9 bases and basically where you have these crazy air defense layouts, uh, more specifically when they're diagonal from each other, whether they're from uh, both on the same side of the map, meaning offset, or if they're... Uh, all air defenses are across from each other. I do have examples of both uh, to show you guys. We got a few air attacks, also one using dragons. We got some hog attacks, some lolo. Uh, so we will go ahead and jump into the war log. The first couple replays are gonna be coming uh, from our Marshall's Nation war that we had. This was a random matchup. Uh, was a very, very fun war. Shout out, uh, shout out to MN. Uh, but we'll go ahead and dive straight into this. Oops, wrong side of the map. Don't want to burn any bases. Okay, so this is actually going to be... No. We're going to start right here at number 22. Uh, we have none other than Dan the Man. Going to be breaking down this base. I'll pause it real quick. Notice the air defense layout. So not only are they pretty much across from each other, but kind of offset at the same time. Really, really uh, funky base layout. And I get a lot of requests because uh, we're seeing more and more of these air defense layouts uh, making the trying to trick the attacker uh not you know scratch your head not really knowing how to hit these bases so what we have right here is we have dan the man doing this with the shattered uh notice that most of the splash and most of the point defenses are all away from the air defenses over by the air defenses what you have is your four ad's and you got a few cannons and you have one expo kind of up there at the top. And notice he just he's jumping straight in, set a nice funnel uh, with his heroes and a few wizards. And just dropped one jump. That's the only spell he's bringing to this attack. And notice there's no bowlers. Going to be going very, very hog heavy. Uh, kind of the opposite when you have a heavy kill squad. To, to, to take out most of the base. Uh, you're not using any spells on your hogs. He's doing the opposite, going a little lighter on the kill squad, and all the focus and attention is on the hogs. Uh, pretty much uh, his heroes just setting up the show. Uh, Golem's taking for the heroes, creating a nice defense path for the hogs. Uh, just dropped about four hogs on that first wizard tower. Notice he has a, a couple Teslas and a mortar pop over by, actually just one Tesla, pop by the town hall. And he's already making a good dent into this base. And there goes his very first heal spell over the Tesla farm. And he hasn't even deployed his CC hogs yet. There's gonna, those are going to come down and meet up with his main group of camp hogs. There they go. Uh, kind of meet up in the core here. Uh, nice heal spell uh, catching uh, that expo as well as uh, that single giant bomb as well. Uh, does have a decent split here. Uh, those three hogs are going to take out that cannon over there on the far right side. No problem. And pretty much could have swagged that heal. Uh, there was one single giant bomb and a few skelly spells. But literally crushed this base. Uh, had no chance. Broke it down very, very well. And uh, that was our version. Our ground version of this attack. So I will go ahead and show you guys a couple air raids. And interesting, interestingly enough, uh, hitting air, because what this is trying to do is counter air attacks. As we know, Lalo is still very, very strong, if not one of the strongest attacks uh, so far. Um, but there is a way around it. So in this one, again, we have those uh, triangle uh, def uh, air defenses in the same compartment as a couple cannons. And again, similar to Dan's attack, uh, the 80s are also offset. So we're going to have Bolt, a.k.a. Rago. Uh, he's going to be hitting this base with Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, and similar to the Hog attack, of course, this is an air attack, but all the spells are going to be used on the Lalo. So what he's basically doing right here is just using his heroes uh, to take out a few defenses and start a defense funnel for the balloons because the balloons have to go one way or the other your balloons are either going to go clockwise 
or counterclockwise around the base. Uh, in this example, he's gonna be going clockwise around the base. As you can see, he's already set up a nice defense funnel. Uh, even grabbed that wizard tower as a bonus when he was under Billy. So the idea here is to start off with the first section of air defenses. And again, with only two air defenses firing at your hounds, he's got a CC hound and one camp hound tanking these two ADs, and they're gonna do it no problem. Drops a few loons per each defense, gonna go ahead and haste them in. And notice right here, he's dropping down the rage, and he has one max skelly spell donated in the clan castle. I'll just pause it real quick, making sure that the rage is over the queen along with the skelly spell. You don't want to drop the skelly spell on the other side of the wall uh, where the skellies have to beat through a wall to get to the queen. Uh, so it's absolutely imperative, especially when you're doing a Sui Hero Lalo where uh, your heroes cannot take her out. You have to get her with a skelly rage. So notice right here, he's already going, uh, starting up from about two o'clock over to three down to six. Uh, just in a perfect L-shaped fashion going around this base. Dropped another camp hound down there at six. Uh, haste everything up to take that out. Notice he has a nice heal spell right over both wizard towers, an expo, and an archer tower. And he still has a hound up, no air defenses. So that hound is actually going to be tanking for these point defenses uh, coming from these archer towers. So just completely wreck the space. Still has one more uh, haste spell up as well. And again, he still has a hound. Hound is out in front, uh, hoping that that pops. Expo is the last defense to go down. Nothing but cleanup at this point. And he did save a few minions and a wizard for the cleanup as well. And he still has some pups as well uh, to help with cleanup. So very, very nicely done. Uh, hitting those odd air defense layouts. Again, we're seeing them every single war guaranteed. So we just showed you guys one ground uh, uh, a ground attack, how to defeat these ADs. We showed you guys a Sui Hero Lalo version to defeat these ADs. Uh, what we're going to show you now is a way to do it with the dragons. You guys already know Zap Quake, one of my most favorite attacks. And again, with that funky air defense layout, and again, all the ADs uh, being offset, uh, we're going to see Roman 36, aka. Zaraki Kempachi can be breaking down this base for us. Uh, notice right there, I'll pause it again real quick, dropping down all three uh, zaps and one max quake right there in the center of that compartment, not only taking out both ADs, but taking out two cannons. Riggs, why does it matter? He's using dragons. Why does cannons matter? It matters with the funnel. Notice there is a clear funnel, a huge section of this base missing right here. Uh, what he's going to do now is drop down his king and queen. Again, when you're doing a dragon attack, the last thing you want, I always say this, is for your dragons to be picked apart one by one because they're wrapping around the base. You want your dragons in the core of the base where all of the defenses are. Uh, again, we're going to be using all of your spells as well. So heroes on one side, uh, funneling the side that the Zap Quake uh, was used to take out both air defenses and, again, those two cannons as well. Uh, notice he drops his drags pretty much from 3 o'clock down to 6. Going to have a nice rage as he was encountering uh, the Expo, a couple Wizard Towers, and a couple Archer Towers as well. Has a nice split right here. Uh, and you see those air defenses. He was a little late on the hound deployment. Uh, I would say just by a few seconds, he did have a hound coming out of the CC. And when he's dropped his dragons, he also dropped about four to five camp loons behind them to help take out defenses and to absorb any traps. Again, you want your balloons to hit the traps, especially something like a seeking air mine rather than your dragons. So you can see he still has quite a few dragons up. One AD, uh, the Lalo did not quite get that AD, but these dragons are so tanky now, uh, especially since their rate of fire has increased as well, uh, their speed. Uh, they just blow through this base, gonna end on uh, Tesla and an Archer Tower, still gonna get the job done. And that's the same baby drag uh, that just went down that he started the funnel with over at three o'clock. Huge, huge value. Again, that baby dragon keeping everything inside of the base. We'll go ahead and times this. This was completely wrecked. Still has a couple dragons up as well. Uh, ending on the builder hut. 
over at nine o'clock. Uh, very, very nicely done on that attack. And we'll go ahead and show you guys two more examples of Sui Hero Lalo and to take down these funky air defense layouts. All right, guys, we are back. This is actually from the Nottingham War. Uh, war still going on. As you see, we still have seven, just over seven hours left in war. So definitely stay tuned uh, for the result on that. We're going to go down here to number 30, uh, where we have uh, my main man, Goo, who's going to be taking out this base. Again, highlighting these funky air defense layouts uh, grouped up with the pair of cannons. Can be very deadly, but it can also be taken advantage of. Uh, and again, all these videos uh, have to do with base identification and knowing what you can get away with with your troops. If you go ahead as this attack plays, look at the range of the queen. You will know once uh, that queen takes out, his queen takes out the town hall, she's going to step up in range of that white line, uh, going to cross that plane right there, get a little bit of queen on queen action. So notice he doesn't have to bring uh, a skelly spell in order to take the queen out. He was able to do it with his queen. And just like we saw in Rago's hit, uh, you can see that he's already creating that defense pathing. Also, uh, we got Goo's going to be doing it uh, clockwise as well, starting over at 3 o'clock and just going to go clockwise around the base, starting with a pair of haste. And notice he does have a rage and a heal spell as well. Uh, still hang on to that CC Hound. That's going to be coming across the base. There it goes, kind of meeting up with all of these loons. As that Hound uh, starts uh, tanking all the defenses, going to go ahead and drop some more loons. Uh, over on the bottom left hand side of the base nice heal spell covering both teslas and the expo as well where he drops down that rage so the loons don't get clogged up on the expo they just keep going and those loons were still under rage as they were meeting uh the air defenses over at nine o'clock and he still has a haste uh which is actually the max haste saving that for the very end not knowing how many loons he was going to have left you can obviously see he had way more than enough as this base got completely wrecked. And notice he was dropping down minions as the loons were taking out defenses, starting clean up nice and early, and still has plenty of pups as well. Uh, so very, very nicely done by Gooves on that one. And we have one more attack uh, featuring Gooves right here, hitting number 26, uh, taking out these diagonal ADs right here. Base very, very similar. Uh, the reason I wanna show you guys this one is the base was very, very similar uh, to the one we just saw with the air defense layouts over at three and over at nine as well. Also gonna be doing this with Sui here, Lalo. The difference is the Archer Queen placement. Uh, notice how he adjusted his spells. Now he's bringing a couple skelly spells with that rage. The other one, he was able to Sui his heroes to take out the enemy AQ. In this one, he cannot. So we'll go ahead and see how he breaks down this base. Notice he also, uh, Mike is also bringing wall breakers to this attack as well. So his heroes are going to be getting huge, huge value uh, as he's going to be breaking them into that bottom compartment just to the right. Uh, you'll see kings going in. So queen is going to get uh, the wizard tower. You can see uh, one of the archer towers are already down. Here goes the second archer tower. And notice he still has his queen ability, even going to be picking up an expo. So you want to talk about huge value, taking out air targeting defenses, four of them just with his heroes and now he's gonna be starting his lalo again over at three o'clock this time he's gonna be going counterclockwise around the base starting with two camp hounds and again dropping about four to five loons per defense starting nice and uh heavy on the deployment notice he dropped down uh that rage right in the core along with both of the skelly spells queen was down in no time hound coming uh from the top of the base down over to nine o'clock dropping down more loons as they're just taking these defenses down one by one uh still has a heal spell and a haste left in the bad guys do not be afraid of these diagonal ad's uh again getting a lot of requests look at that completely swag pretty much swag that haste as well really didn't need it uh but completely swagging a heal spell as well so again 
uh, setting up these air defenses like this are trying to discourage an air attack, yet doing an air attack on these layouts are completely dominating when you break down the bases, again, using that base identification, uh, which we're doing in uh, this video in this series. Uh, and again, we also saw a ground version uh, to this attack as well, using Shattered. We've also seen uh, these air defenses getting taken out uh, doing the Lego Bowl, using the four golems with just a few loons on the back end. There's all different kinds of ways to take down these bases. Uh, we even showed you guys a dragon attack as well. Uh, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure you like it. Leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section below. And again, this is going to be, uh, we're going to do a few segments on this. So for this one, in this Town Online Attack Guide, uh, base identification version. Um, this was for these uh, diagonal air defense layouts. Uh, base identification is so vast, uh, we cannot break it down in one video, so I will be doing different ways to hit uh, certain bases. So, also in the comment section below, let me know what type of bases you guys wanna see, any bases you guys are struggling with. We'll go ahead and get that content out to you guys. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it. Again, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.